At the end of 2018, Team Singularity was well on the other side of company restructuring, and we re-entered multiple gaming titles with new teams, and both with female and male teams. But with a primary focus on our North American CSGO team and our European Dota 2 team. The year started with a lot of online tournaments, but in March, our travel calendar started and our new Call of Duty team traveled for the CWL Fort Worth Open. Meanwhile, I traveled to Chongqing in China to participate in the WSG World Finals together with the CSGO team and some of the relevant personnel from the Team Singularity management. For most of the team and myself, it was our first time in China and had no idea about what to expect. Many of our experiences were clearly first time experiences. And I clearly remember the first, first time experience I had when I arrived in the airport with the management team. Fully suited up in Singularity merchandise, of course. Another traveler had recognized the Singularity logo from afar and came running towards us asking for a fan photo while we were just trying to clear security and customs. After a one hour drive from the airport to the heart of Chongqing, we arrived to our hotel and teamed up with the CSGO team. We ended up in a group including G2 Esports, Ninjas in Pajamas and Revolution, a Chinese team. But due to unforeseen circumstances, Ninjas in Pajamas had to cancel their participation, which gave us an opportunity to safely secure a second place in the group and advance to the playoff. In the playoffs, we lost to Valiance that featured players like Nexa and Hunter and ended our run with a top 16 finish. WSG China was a great experience for everyone and gave us all a much needed chance to enjoy the success of the team and finally having a taste of the big pie. It was a lovely opportunity to network with the players from the top of the scene and from everywhere in the world. After WSG, the CSGO team briefly headed home before traveling to Denmark and Copenhagen Games in April. At Copenhagen Games 2019, we hosted a CSGO pre-boot camp featuring our North American main team, our female team and our Swedish academy team. A great opportunity for all the players in our CSGO division to network and give each other's input. We didn't find much success at the actual event at Copenhagen Games 2019, as we were knocked out in the deciding match to qualify for the main event. But it was a great eye-opener for the American boys to comprehend the level of the depths in the Danish and Nordic esports talent pool. In May 2019, Team Singularity peaked in terms of size, as we housed more than 150 associated players and management personnel overall. Things were looking bright and we started to gain momentum. The UK Call of Duty team played the CWL London Open event in May and with the top 8 finish they secured themselves a spot at the CWL Amateur Finals 2019 in Miami that were set for July. We also decided to launch Singularity Racing, an independent project within the Singularity company started to please the growth of sim racing scene and also the general interest from motorsport viewers and the racing community. Team Singularity was given the opportunity to rebrand Hydra Esports professional racing team, which has been running since early 2018 and spearheaded by real life racing super talent, Dennis Lynn. In June, Team Singularity traveled for multiple events in Hearthstone, PUBG and CSGO. I attended the PUBG event GLL Grand Slam in Stockholm, Sweden to meet up with my South American PUBG squad for the first time. Afterwards, I traveled to Dallas to once again try and claim a spot in the ESL Pro League with the CSGO team. We lost the Mountain Dew League final to FURIA that claimed a direct spot in the ESL Pro League and sent us into the ESL Pro League relegations where we unfortunately choked once again. Meanwhile, the CSGO squad secured a spot at the Americas Minor after winning the qualifier against Bad News Bears, ATK and Envy. The Call of Duty team finished with the top 6 placement in Miami at the CWL Amateur Finals and therefore secured a spot at the Call of Duty World League Championship, better known as Champs, 
or the World Championship. An event where the 16 CWL teams and the 16 top-seeded amateur teams faced off to claim glory and greatness. July ended on a high as I traveled to New York with my Fortnite players, Thomas HD and Lasers. They had both qualified for the magnificent $40 million Fortnite World Cup Finals. The event was without a doubt the biggest esports production I've ever witnessed and something I'll never forget. Shortly after returning from New York, I headed to Los Angeles together with the Call of Duty team to play the CWL World League Championship of 2019. This can define the rest of your life, like 100%. If you win this match, you all know that the next two matches are gonna be even easier. And you know, you'll have much more like breathing space coming into tomorrow. So, you know, this is a championship match. I know it sounds stupid, but every every game and every map here counts. So just go for it, man. No fear. They're not winning a map. They're not winning, no, they're not winning a map, period. It's not happening. They're getting fucking 3-0. They're getting put in their fucking place last. That's what's fucking That's happening. Cool. Let's get down, guys. We had a great run and won our group in dominating fashion and upset one of the tournament favorites, Luminosity. In the playoffs, we got knocked to lower bracket after our first match against Sicario in a very close series. And in the first match of the lower bracket, we were up against the defending champions from Envy, a matchup no one expected Singularity to win. But we took down the defending champions and won the affection and respect from the full crowd. During the series against Envy, one of our players, the only one remaining from the original Danish roster we started with, Tobias Jönsson, better known as Kleenex, popped off so hard that he solidified his own name in the Call of Duty Pro scene and was on Twitter's top five over trending subjects in USA overall. Team Singularity, Team Envy fighting for their lives here, about to go on to main stage after being knocked out of their respective matches. Woke up, told myself the push and never stop. I've been stressed out, watching both these hands around the clock. With my eyes wide, trying to get the panorama shot. Whole world getting blurry to me, answers getting lost. So I watch my back and keep it moving to the front. And remember that the world's yours, do it how you want. You've been waiting here for too long, think it's time for you to move on. Realize that there's real lies and these real times will be strong. I've been waiting all my life, and it was right before my eyes. Watching all this time slip by Now I realize You know I've been waiting now, 20, as that kill comes through from Kleenex, it's the club for Slam! Seven run from Kleenex, and he's not done yet, more streaks for the man, turns and burns on eight, oh he is frying Kleenex with the biggest turnaround of a performance I think I've ever seen in Call of Duty myself. You can see him through walls, but you can't stop the fry man cleaning him up. And he's got the grab. Someone's in the back, but he can feel it. Able to get the clean up kill. Singularity oh hanging out God. inside the hard point because Kleenex is killing everything in sight. I, I, an absolute takeover. And honestly, once he started heating up, was there ever any doubt for Matt? One, Envy just got ran through by one man from Denmark. My whole life I'm forever In the next match of the lower bracket run, we faced Luminosity, that were hungry to get the revenge from getting their asses kicked by us in the group stage, and they were without a doubt the better team on the day, and ended our fairy tale run. We placed top 12 overall and we're super happy with our result, even though the team was hungry for more action. I flew directly from Los Angeles to Berlin to team up with my CSGO squad again. 
After the disappointing results at the MDL finals and the ECA Global Challenge in Dallas the month before, we were in Berlin trying to qualify for the Star Ladder Berlin Major. Even though a great try and some very close series, then we fell short to Sharks Esports in the deciding match and finished third in our group, which were the end of our run in Berlin. Heading into September 2019, we had a lot of roster changes and one of the teams in question was the CSGO team that felt they went out prematurely of the minor and also choked to qualify for both ESL Pro League Season 10 and ECS Season 8. There was a lot of interest in our players and we transferred them to Envy, ATK and Chaos. We needed a new team and decided to pick up our North American rivals, New Identity, and ended up playing both ESL Pro League Season 10 and ESS Season 8 anyways. It was a dream coming true, having a team participating in ESL Pro League. And even though we weren't able to qualify for the finals event, then we played both Stage 1 and 2 from the Los Angeles studio. And I had an amazing time together with my CSGO team at both stages. Fast forwarding, the time a bit to November 2019. Then we announced our entry into Rocket League, a game title where Team Singularity has been able to solidify our name and brand in record time and without having in-game decals or involvement prior to our entry. We picked up a team competing in the Rocket League rival series with a great potential and midway in the ongoing season. A season that ended on a high as we, one month after our entry into Rocket League scene, qualified for the Rocket League Champions Series, better known as RLCS, after two very intense series against Complexity in the promotion tournament. I remember sitting in an Airbnb rented house in the middle of freaking nowhere in Sweden together with one of my managers and most of my European Fortnite players while watching the deciding series and celebrating afterwards. Yeah! We were in Sweden to attend the DreamHack winter event and even though we didn't place as hoped at the event, then we had a wonderful time with all our players from various EU countries meeting and also teaming up with some of our former members. There is something very special about DreamHack summer and DreamHack winter events that can't be described but needs to be experienced. Never giving up a fall, it's over. Welcome to our winter wonderland. <laughs> Team Singularity Fortnite team here at the uh, Dreamhack Junkerbing. We're up having some good snow. It basically we came last night and it snowed overnight just when we went to bed. So um, we woke up to this beautiful winter wonderland and um, now it's time to head down to Dreamhack. See you soon. So come on and put your hands up We're gonna bring the house down No one could ever stop us We're gonna set it off right now oh, oh. Welcome to DreamHack We're here with the Team Singularity's Fortnite team uh, We have six players who is here And um, yeah, we're here to fuck shit up And um, as you can see behind me We're in uh, Hall D It's the main hall here And uh, we have some of our good guys here, Cringe and uh, Arthur, come. Come join me for, uh, come join me for our uh, This is two of our wonderful boys. We have Cringe here, we have Steve with you. And uh, yeah, just uh, looking forward to have a good time here in over the weekend. Right guys? Easy goal, easy goal. All good, let's go. You heard it. Let's go. Do it 
feel like I told you. 